Hello again, welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH, and I'm back for yet another um, hardware review video for you guys. And believe it or not, I managed to get myself, or I managed to get my hands on <laughs> another headphones, another pair of headphones. But I do want to review these because they're an interesting beast. Um, the headphones I'm going to review today are the Bose Quiet Comfort 3 or QC3 headphones. These are wired headphones, um, but <clears throat> they have the noise canceling technology in them. And so normally I wouldn't have purchased these because they're uh, normal price. They are really expensive. They are, they generally go for 350 bucks or so. Uh, during Black Friday weekend, I saw uh, a couple deals and I ended up getting these for a bit under 200 So I figure if I can save about half, um, that wasn't bad. And I figured, yes, it's still more than I generally would really want to pay for a headset. Um, but, you know, I've, I've heard Bose headsets in the past, you know, heard some of their speakers and stuff. And they make good quality audio for sure. But... I've just never, price has always been the barrier for me. You know, I mean, a hundred bucks is about the top that I really want to spend for a headset. And even then, eh, you know, I'm not sure about that. But it was going to be one of those things where, like, I had the money, it was a really good deal. And I've always wanted to just say I've owned a Bose audio product. Because I really want to see if they're as good as people really say they are. I mean, yes, I've heard them a little bit in the past. But I want to run them through my own, you know, personal use and uh, make my own overall judgment. So that's kind of what we're doing here today. So we got this case here. Um, nice thing is these headphones, they do come in some really nice packaging. They come in this nice little kind of a plasticky or I don't know what kind of material it is inside. But it's got a cloth outer, you know, outside for this case. You flip it over. You got the same kind of cloth there. And then you have this extra little pocket here which actually comes in handy for if I want to I've put uh, some of the cords in there before so um, it comes with a couple of cords and so uh, sometimes I'll just shove them right in there and it works really well for that if I open up the case itself I don't have the headphones in there but I'll show you the case nonetheless it's just a zipper pocket um, so contrast might be a little bad here sorry there's not great lighting in here um, We'll see how this uh, iPhone 6 Plus camera really does in low lighting. Um, you've got your areas for your headset, your headphones right here. Um, and they kind of just, they turn, you know, they kind of tilt so you can lay them flat. And they just kind of sit in there. You've got the little groove up here for the headband. And they, they kind of, they don't fit snug in there, really, from what I can tell. At least they're kind of hard to get in that way. But as long as you kind of generally line them up and you get them in there, uh, just kind of lay them nice and as flat as you can. They generally work well and they fit. You got a couple of other areas in the case here. You've got this area open here is for the charger that it comes with, the AC adapter, which I'll talk more about shortly. And then you have this little creature here. This is actually a different headphone plug. Um, it's got the headphone plug here. But then it's also got another one <clears throat> right here that you can extend. And this is, um, I believe this is for like if you're connecting it to like a laptop or something, you want to use it with Skype or some other kind of uh, something with your microphone. So you can use it um, for one, one is your headphone, one is your microphone jack. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. I haven't used it myself because uh, I really haven't used it with a computer yet, but it fits nice and snug in there. Uh, comes with a couple of cords here, which I'll show you in a minute, but that is the case. So, enough about the packaging, or the casing as it were. Um, you want to see the headphones themselves, and here they are. The Bose QC3s. So, these are on-ear headphones. They don't cup around your ear, which is generally the design that I like better. I like them where they kind of, you know, you've got the, the middle and then you've got like the big old cups that go around your ear. 
I generally prefer those. Um, but when I was at the mall uh, a couple months ago, I was waiting for my uh, Apple Genius Bar appointment for something I was doing with my phone. And there was a Bose store nearby. And I was, you know, just playing around with some of the headphones. And that was kind of also, you know, with the price and the sale and everything. I had played with a couple of these headsets in the store a couple months ago, which in retrospect, I mean, maybe not a good idea because <laughs> it made me kind of want a pair. But, um, you know, I did try these. And they were still really comfortable. So these are on ear. But the the cups on them, they're nice and cloth here in the middle. And then on the outer side, you can kind of tell the contrast there. They are really, really soft. Almost like a rubber, like a rubbery padding. But they almost it almost feels like memory foam or something in them. I'm not sure what, the, what is actually in them. But they're really, really cushy. You know, they just kind of... Um, but they're, they're really comfortable. Um, I don't have a problem wearing these at all. <clears throat> Likewise, the headband up here, it's all kind of soft and coated. You've got your kind of a mesh thing there for the top of your head. And one thing that's always kind of concerned me about, especially really expensive headphones, is how they, how the ear cups connect to the headband itself because a friend of mine had some earlier Bose models and they just broke um, they just didn't seem there's a piece out right kind of right in here where they were definitely a little bit differently but they um, didn't hold up very well and so I was a little skeptical but I don't know these seem pretty solid for the most part um, hopefully they will remain that way um, physical design, um, you've got the, so let's see here, this is the right earpiece. So you, now the interesting thing about these is that, like I said, they are corded, they're not wireless, um, and they're, they are noise canceling, but what I didn't realize when I bought them and one of the things that I kind of, I would say that I don't like about them is that because they're noise canceling, the way they do it is you can only use these when the power is on. So I, there, I guess when I was reading the description, I misread or didn't notice something quite as well. But what I thought would happen is that you could just plug them into your audio source and you could just plug them in and listen to them passively without the noise cancellation, you know, without turning any of that on and just use them passively as a regular good quality heads, headphones. And then if you wanted the noise cancelling, you could just turn this uh, switch on here. And apparently I misread that because um, it's either, like I said, it's all or nothing. You can plug them in and you can try to play your music or whatever as much as you want. Um, but unless this switch is turned on, you don't hear anything. So you're always going to have noise canceling and there is no way to listen to them in a passive mode, which is unfortunate. Um, that is my one major complaint about this particular pair of headphones. Um, the other thing that I wish, they do have a cord, uh, they come with a couple of different cords, and they do have a cord that does work uh, they specifically for Apple devices, so they do have some kind of, you know, multimedia controls on it, which is good, but again, I use my, when I go to work and stuff all the time, I use, I still use my GoGroove Airband headset all the time, and I love having just like volume. I love having my skip back or skip forward and skip back and my play pause. I would have loved to have at least a couple of those basic buttons on the headphones themselves. So no matter what chord I used, I could just reach up and do that either on my right or left ear. I really wish they had that. Um, the left ear, one thing I do like, because they are corded, oh, I'm sorry, because they are corded, um, you know, you got to worry about 
shorts in your cords, you know, your, your cords going bad because the cheapy pair of headphones that I use like for work or that I mostly use with my stream up to this point, you know, they're $20 headsets and the headphones are generally fine. Uh, it's the cords that eventually just go to crap and I get a short on them and they don't work. These, however, um, <clears throat> because they have multiple cords that come with it, and you can just use a th standard three and a half, uh, 3.5 inch um, patch cord if you want, like if you want a longer cord or something, and plug those in and they'll work. But on the left ear cup, I can actually take this and unplug, there you go, I can unplug that right from the pair of headphones. So if I do short out my cord, I'm not screwed out of a $350 pair of headphones. I can go grab another cord and life is good. Uh, also, when you put them in the case to transport them, I would highly recommend taking the cord out. And for you blind and low vision users out there, I will say, when you do plug in the cord, the end of the cord goes up toward the top of the headset. It doesn't go kind of more in, it goes toward the, you know, up toward the band. So, because originally it was kind of hard to see in there and I'm like, well, okay, how do I plug this thing in? So it took a minute for me to figure that out. But um, that's how the cord goes in. So not too bad there. Um, let me go back to the right ear cup again, because I already mentioned the battery. Now, um, going along with kind of what I don't like as much, let me see if I can do this one handed. All right, so I pulled that out. Um, it's not like it uses a regular battery pack or triple A's, double A's, whatever. This particular model doesn't do that. It uses its own goofy battery thing here. So it's actually part of the top of the right ear cup. And I think you can actually buy, like if you want to have an extra battery, uh, you can buy an extra one of these so you can have one charging and then just swap them out like that. So that is kind of nice, but I don't know how much one of these costs. Um, since it's Bose, I would imagine they're probably not cheap. <laughs> um, but that brings me to the uh, one of the other accessories that you get with your headphones, which is ye old AC adapter. So, because it is a proprietary battery, you're gonna need their proprietary adapter. So don't lose this thing. <laughs> you know, it's not like a general USB, oh, I'm gonna plug this USB cord in and plug some internal battery that I have in my headset. Uh, no, instead, you take the battery, you plug it in, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one-handed because I keep trying to, let's see if I can, there we go, got it. So it fits in there, you flip out the prongs and then you just plug it into the wall. So, like I said, I, I knew that it had its own proprietary battery, I knew that. But when I bought it, like I said, I, I, I misread or something because I thought that you could use this in passive mode. So like I didn't have to necessarily use the battery. I didn't have to necessarily use the noise canceling if I didn't want to. That's what I thought. And that is not the case. Thankfully, um, they say that the battery is supposed to last about 20 hours of solid use and I've only, I've had it for, well, since just after, I'll say a week after Thanksgiving, maybe, just under a week after Thanksgiving, and I have used this a fair amount, um, and I've only charged the battery once, so it does hold a decent charge, um, at least I will say that, you know, it does hold a pretty decent charge. But it is really unfortunate that you that you do have to use a battery at all times in order for the thing to even work. That's my major complaint. Now, the main reason that I bought these headphones, of course, is because of the sound quality. Um, that's why you're going to spend, 
you know, anything like, you know, over a hundred dollars for a headphone, pair of headphones or a headset. Um, <clears throat> and I do have to say these things do sound really freaking good. Um, I've put it, I have put them through their paces quite a bit. I have used them with my iPhone, both to listen to music. I have used them to play some audio games, especially the audio defense game that I demoed earlier on the channel. Uh, I've used them to play regular iPhone games. I've played them with the uh, 3DS. That sounded pretty darn good. Um, you know, it works great for music. I've used them with my electronic drum kit, and that works really well. Uh, they actually sound quite good. You know, you get the, the nice thing is, I mean, like I said, with the noise cancellation that they have, I don't hear anything hardly. You know, I mean, it's really funny because I, you know, I have my desktop computer over here, and I hear it all the time. You know, there's fans and stuff going, but I've gotten so used to it, it doesn't really sound that loud. But you put these suckers on, you know, you put them on, you turn the switch on, and it goes, whoop, and it just the sound is gone. And you're listening to music or movies or whatever for a while, you take them off, and it sounds like a freaking jet engine over here. You know, you just, wow, that computer is actually kind of loud. Uh, you know, but, you know, I've used them, like I said, for movies, music, games, and they sound really good. They sound really good for drums. What I've also found... In listening to music these things have actually kind of helped me in drumming uh, and just kind of in music in general because because you know it's got good range you know good low medium highs um, you know especially it helps each of those kind of parts in a song stand out so when I'm listening to a song and I want to kind of learn the drum beat. I want to see, oh, okay, you know, how are they hitting the snare? How are they hitting the hi-hat? Is there kind of some weird little subtle pattern change or here or something? And in other headphones or other speakers, you know, you notice the overall pattern, but you may not notice some of the subtleties. And so I found that it actually does kind of help if I really want to learn a song, listening to that song with these headphones first, um, just, you know, by themselves. Um... You know, I've been able to pick up on, you know, separating some of those parts a little bit easier. So it's really good for that as well. I mean, music sounds really good. I've used these on a road trip, you know, for work. I, ha I, I have to go out of the office sometimes uh, to meet people in other towns <clears throat> and, you know, put these things on in the car. Again, I don't hear the car really. I don't hear trucks passing us. Um... I just hear my tunes, and they sound really pretty good. Um, so, you know, audio quality-wise, I think they are really good. Um, I do think they sound very good. And like I said, they're light. They're comfortable. I like the removable cord, or removable cords. Uh, um, it's kind of in a little mess here. But I have another cord here. This is the other cord that it comes with. It comes with a standard three and a half inch cord. And then it comes with this one, which is, where is my little adapter thingy? Um, right here. So it's a really thin little, kind of what you get on an Apple earbud or something. Um, you've got a little device with some controls on it here. So if you are hooking it to like an iPhone or an iPod or something like that, you do have some multimedia controls and stuff like that, even though they're not on the ear cups themselves. So I am glad that they added that cord or that feature. Um, I'm glad they did ha include that in the packaging and that it wasn't extra. So, you know, I mean, overall, I, you know, I'm definitely, I'm glad I own a pair of bows now just to say that I have. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, you can, if you're listening to somebody else's pair for a couple minutes just to listen to a song, you know, they sound good. But you really don't know. You know, you really want to put it through your own paces. You know, the kind of games and the kind of music and movies and all that kind of stuff that you listen to. And overall, I think they do a really good job. Um, I, I, You know, like I said, music sounds really good with them. I've read books with them too. You know, like uh, with Voice Dream Reader and Audible and stuff on my stream. 
and they, they sound good with books, but I don't know, it's just kind of depending on the the narrator or the text-to-speech engine, I kind of like even just my, you know, my cheapy pair of headphones, my nice Sennheisers that I use, the over-the-ear, the cup ones, they work fine for that, so I really use these more for music, iOS gaming, watching movies, um, and they work really well for drumming. I should also mention that I did let my coworker friend borrow these for a night. He does some, <clears throat> uh, in addition to uh, his technology job that we do at work, he he does some stuff with, he, play, he plays in a band and he does some mixing and audio recording um, at a couple of different places. And so he wanted to find out, are these good enough to use in a live mixing setting so he's got a band up there playing he's got these suckers on he can't hear anything um you know do they cut out enough noise so that he can actually just you know do a, some live uh mixing on the mixer board mixing board and uh he said yeah they worked beautifully for it um he's totally blind and he's like they almost cut out too much because you know it's like well you you have some vision um, so, you know, even if you can't really hear anything, you can kind of still have some spatial awareness around you. You know, I put these things on, I can't see anything and just, whoosh, I don't hear anything. So it's like, they work great. And I may consider something like this in the future if I do a lot more of this, but it almost cuts out too much of the world. You know, if you don't have any vision and then you lose all of your hearing too, kind of a weird experience. So like I said, they, they do what they're set out to do. You know, they have good sound, they do the noise cancellation pretty well, um, very well actually. And uh, yeah, so this is the Bose QC3, or Quiet Comfort 3 as it were. Um, like I said, available. these are available now. They are generally 350 bucks, which I think is kind of insane for a pair of headphones, especially corded headphones. But uh, thankfully I got them at a deep discount. And um, for that price, you know, they're still a little bit high, but I still do like them. And, you know, would I buy another Bose product in the future? Um, if I could find it maybe on a really good price again, I might. But if you are looking for a good pair of headphones um, and you've got, a, you know, a lot of money to, to spare, these might be worth a look. Um, they definitely sound good. And... Um, you know, kind of proprietary battery and charging issues aside, uh, they do sound and they work really well. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.